So, I like a good shark movie. I love Jaws. I think it's a horror masterpiece. Um, Deep Blue Sea is schlocky fun. Shark Knight 3D is schlocky fun. And I think The Shallows is pretty fantastic. But uh, 47 meters down, uncaged. I uh, don't think it's good. Let's talk about it. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the first movie. I think it did a few things well, but overall, not a fan. Uh, the director, Johan Roberts, he did Strangest Prey at Night, which I was a fan of. It's a good little throwback to like slashers of old. And has some pretty great scenes in it. So I'm like, maybe he's going to step it up. Bring it up. Um, I think it's on par with, with the first one. Outside of logic and error. The logic in this movie is bananas and bonkers. But I'll talk, talk about that later. Uh, 47 Meters Down Un Uncaged is about two sisters who are stepsisters. They don't get along. Generic. I know. And if you know anything about film... This is a bonding experience, and they'll be together at the end. Um, not a spoiler, but it's just how this type of films go. And, uh, basically, they're stuck together on a trip set up by their dad. And, instead, the one sister's like, why don't we check out this place with my friends, and let's see what's so cool about it. So they go. And the one friend's like, there's underground ruins here. And there's story details to why she knows there's ruins and why they have the scuba gear there. It's not just all ran randomly placed bullcrap. So they go into the ruins, blah, blah, blah. You know, stuff happens. Um, they get trapped down there and there's two sharks. Simple enough plot. They have to survive, get out, stuff like that. But here's the kicker. The sharks are blind. They're albino great white sharks, or I, I don't know if they're great white sharks. The one character claims they're great white sharks, but I have no idea. I'm, I'm not a shark expert. Um, to me, they don't really look like great whites, but again, not a shark expert. And here's where the logic falls apart instantly. The moment the characters dive, the logic falls apart. Because these characters don't have radios, they don't have waterproof mics, nothing like that. And underwater, they can talk to each other perfectly fine. With the scuba gear on, or the diving gear. I guess scuba gear, same thing. <laughs> With their diving gear on, their diving helmets, or oxygen masks. I don't know the proper term for these things. I've never gone scuba diving, so I don't know. And it's like, I understand for the film they had to do that. They had to have the characters speak to each other. But it's like, that's not how sound travels. That's not how sound works underwater. And the film has continuous weird things like that that kind of draw you out of the experience. But before I rip into this movie, as more than I already have, let's talk about some good things. The production team deserves mad respect for building all these sets that totally work. I believe they fully filmed it freaking underwater. I didn't look up how they filmed it because I'm not a big fan. I probably will now because now I'm dead. Just curious to know how they made it all happen. But real big kudos to the production team that made it happen. To build all the sets. To just make it all work. The sets look great. That's the best thing I could say for it. All the acting is serviceable. None of it's like outright terrible. But none of it's like outright good either. It's all serviceable. Yeah, let's get into the bad. Um, the sharks are blind, which I don't... If they were stuck in those caverns, I don't... Evolution would have took hundreds of years, not... And by then, the, the two sharks would have died. So I don't really understand that aspect. And uh, if, if you know anything about sharks, they, they're, they're two main sources of tracking and hunting are smell and I don't know the proper term for it but it's like a magnetic like radar pulse type thing in their noses that that they use to bounce off the, the uh, ground floor and stuff and it's like 
a blind shark would still be able to, you know, track these humans, but they're like, if we stay quiet, they won't know we're here. And even, like, the one character's like, if they're blind, then their senses are enhanced. But yet the characters, like, openly talk and make a ton, ton of noise. And, like, the sharks still don't really give a crap about them. And it's like, you guys can't say they have enhanced senses and then just, in the next scene, just completely disregard it. It's, like, they go back and forth on that logic. The CGI is really rough. It's not good. And that leads to the biggest gripe I have with it is when you have a shark, which is a major threat to us humans, because, look, unless you're uh, Michael Phelps, you ain't escaping no shark. You're, you're dead meat right there. Another great YouTube channel. But you're dead meat right there. There's nothing you can do to basically escape a shark attack. Especially in the circumstances in which these characters are in. You're in these small areas. You're underwater. You're done. And the CGI being so rough makes it a little bit hard to take it seriously. Because the sharks in mo There's one specific scene where the shark looks phenomenal and i feel like they wasted their all their money on this one singular shot it's hard to take such a threat seriously like imagine if like thanos in avengers or like godzilla or the shark in the shallows looked terrible you want to take him seriously you'd be laughing at it and i kind of got a small chuckle out of a lot of the shark scenes even though they're they're like they're they're supposed to be tense and ten, 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 tension filled because there's just your brain instantly says that's a fake shark don't have to worry or while i'm watching like the the shallows that shark looks pretty damn real and i'm like oh no blake is about to get freaking eaten all up and that happens in quite a few movies when cgi is not up to snuff it just feels like there, there's no weight to it. There's no oomph behind the impact. There's just a floating blob of CGI. And it just sucks my brain right out of the film. And it just, the rough CGI really hurts it. And uh, I found this funny. There's, of course, jump scares. It's a horror movie. But uh, <laughs> there's this one jump scare where they timed the sound cue... With the shark popping out, and it, I swear to God, it sounded like the shark was literally screaming in the character's face. Like, it sounded like someone was, like, the shark itself just screamed in, in the character. And it reminded me of Jaws 4, because if you don't know, Jaws 4's, Jaws, Jaws 4 is completely bonkers in every aspect. And the shark literally roars like a lion. And, don't see that movie, it's terrible. Well, you can laugh at it, but, and it reminded me of that. It's just like all the characters are bland. They're not really likable. Like the tension is not there. The jump scares don't work. And this, it's hard to fault the film for this, but because it's underwater, the film just looks really bland because you can't have like gorgeous lighting. You can't have like purple neon colors light up the screen when you're underwater. It has to be that same brown blue watery tint the whole film and it's not at fault of the filmmaker it's just the environment given to the film the dialogue is super cheesy it's all basic dialogue there's no like high-end scripting here random thought one early plot point comes back towards the end of the movie and it honestly surprised me because i was waiting for it to come in and i'm and it's like an hour and like 10 in and i'm like i guess they're 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 just not going to use this plot point and then they do and it surprised me do they use it well no there there is a lot of weird like slow-mo in the movie that i don't agree with it kind of like kills the entire tone of the film it's just overall not good it's not enjoyable and johans roberts i think he has talent because in Strangers 2, or Pray at Night, you can see he has a good eye. You can see 
He knows how to direct people. And you can see he knows how to work with what he's given. And I feel like with a good script and a good team with him, he can make a good damn movie. And I know he's doing the Resident Evil film reboot, which, please be a horror movie like the games. Please don't do another freaking action monster movie. I think, given the right stuff, he can he can nail it. So I'm I'm really pulling for you, man. I think you got talent, dude. I think you can do this. But yeah, forty centimeters down, uncaged. Don't like it. I'll watch Jaws and The Shallows a billion times with this before I sit through this again. So, if you liked it, tell me what you thought about it. If you sat through this huge ramblethon of this shark movie. And we don't get enough animal movies like this and Crawl. I'm all for good killer animal movies. Like, Crawl is awesome. Crawl kicks booty. Crawl is some top notch, top notch, tension, drama filled awesomeness. But, uh, yeah, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.